What's up guys, it's Kylie Chari and I will be answering all of your questions right here on MTV Asks. All right, first question from Instagram from Guads Gonzalez. If you could choose one song from your album to sing for your crush, which one would you pick and why? Um, probably Fuego because that song was actually written for my crush at the time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. There you go. <laughs> Next one. Also from Instagram, Asinods22. At Kylie Chari, which among your seven songs in New Views is dedicated to the girl you admire the most right now? Josa. Josa, because it's a song that's really dedicated to the girls that um, can't see their beauty. And you want them, you want them to see themselves through your eyes. Yeah. From Elazien. Elazien. Who says what is your inspiration in writing the lyrics of every song in the album? Iba iba. Like Panaginip was from someone who cheated on me. Um, I'm serious was for all the bashers that were calling me a chick boy. And Malinakita was for someone that I was with for a long time. Pero magkibigan lang kami. And you know, you want to bring it to the next level. So, ganun. Some of them were for one person, some were for had the past, and some were for the future. Gets? I ain't gonna. <laughs> Kian Mills, who's your inspiration behind your new songs, excluding Panaginip and I'm Serious? Inspiration behind. Um, like I said last in the last question, in Yamakaiba. Depends kasi sa kanta, and depends on my mood at that time. It could have been like, you know, one of my friends told me about their kwento, nagsulat ako para sa kanya. Um, you know, switches up. Now, we're gonna move on to Twitter. Hello, Twitter world. Hello. I'm Kirsten Luis. What song from the album would you love to be your ringtone slash alarm forever? Ringtone slash alarm forever. Hmm. For my album, such a one feel good song for me is really Mahal Nga Kita or Liligawa Nga Kita. Like, either of those two is like a really nice way for me to wake up because of the beat. I really love the beat. Sobrang masaya. It just makes you, you know, vibey and jump up and down. Stuff like that. From Visual Kaishin, shout out to Tim Kaishin. Hello, love you guys. Mwah. How was the whole journey while making this album? Especially since you wrote all the songs in it. Did you face any challenges? And if so, how did you overcome it? My first, um, my first challenge was self-acceptance and really believing in myself that I can write this whole album and produce it. Because um, I never really was that vulnerable on paper to everyone. And I felt like this album was really my way to connect to everyone, sa lahat ng mga fans, sa lahat ng mga tao. Really made me connect to them through music and through what I wanted to write. And yeah, I think that was my biggest challenge, really being vulnerable. Hey, Kai Scene with a one. If you're given the chance to collab with a songwriter or producer for your next album, who will it be and why? Songwriter or producer. I have a lot of people in mind, people that I really um, that really inspire me in this industry. People like Ati Casey, um, Ati Moira. I love her so much. We've been trying to work on something for a while, but we'll do it in the future. I'm 100% sure about that. Um, Chris Lopez moves. I love that guy. He's such a nice guy, and I'm hoping to work with him in the future. A lot of different producers, songwriters, see Frankie Panginan and stuff like that. From Kaisin Playlist, also on Twitter. How did you come up with the concept of your album? Ooh, how did I come up with the concept of my album? Um, well, as you can tell from all the songs and all the genres na nasa halob ng album, the, it's, it's not just one concept. Um, I just wanted to show who I am as an artist and the versatility that I can show through each song. It was all different, um, it was all different genres, all different situations and that was really my concept to show my versatility more than anything yeah 
show my versatility. <laughs> um, from Blakes and Cloudy, also on Twitter. As a singer and songwriter, how do you want your songs to be remembered? Singer and song. I mean, I just want it to be remembered as um, Kylie Chari. You guys will really know who I am and what I like to do and who I really am as an artist, as a person through this album. That's why I really like doing this album. Um, it was a way for me to give back to you, to all the fans, Kyle Maddox, Team Kaisin, that my squad mates, that are here It really helped me like, you know, open up to you guys and show who I really am now, now that I'm 18, now that I'm grown up. Well, I'm grown up, but yeah. Mag Manlak 24. Since your album is successful, are you going to make a music video with every single song from the album or just a few? I have a couple of surprises on the way for you guys. You know what's happening. That's all I can say. Yeah. From It's Not Me, KC. Question for Kylie Chart. As a young singer songwriter, what message or advice can you give those who aspire musicians out there? Believe in yourself. Believe in your talent because no one else is going to believe in you unless you believe in yourself first. And as cliche as it sounds, that was the hardest thing for me. And nung tinanggap ko sarili ko, when I really believed in myself and I put my heart onto paper and I showed what in my through my lyrics who I really am now as a person. Um, that was the best thing I could do. And I think that's the best thing that everyone can do. For those aspiring artists, don't be afraid to be judged. Don't be afraid to be judged because the only person that can really judge, your, judge you is yourself. From Mizvac08, hashtag MTV asks, what is your preferred genre? Can you also have a ballad song? Because it just fits your voice. I don't have a preferred genre. Genre. So, nakita mo naman sa album ko, sobrang lahat ng mga kanta nga magkaiba. Wala akong genre na pinipili talaga. Pero I love, I just love music in general. And I love making all the kind of music that I can. Pero kung may pipiliin akong genre, I would do a ballad, I could do that, but R&B is my favorite music to listen to. R&B, hip hop, pop, indie, that, that's, I, I listen to everything to be honest. From Ube Kaisin, how was your experience writing songs and producing this amazing album? Wow, thank you so much. Amazing album. How was it, my experience? It was a uh, hard, this album has been like more than a year in the making before it was released. And it went through a lot of like with when it comes to collabs, I was only able to do two collabs out of the couple that I was supposed to do, but it's okay. I'm happy with the outcome of the album. I really enjoyed doing this whole album. Just putting my heart onto paper and showing you guys who I am. Yeah. From, I'm Kirsten Luis. What was the hardest song to write? Panaginip. I say this all the time because there's a little backstory. When I wrote that song, Panaginip, it was the day that I got cheated on. It was the day that uh, I broke up with my girl, my ex at the time. It was, I wrote the first um, half, the, the chorus and the first verse. Then after I was just like, let's not do it. I'm too vulnerable right now. I don't like it. But after, when I started thinking about the album, I was just like, you know what? Why isn't this finished? So I was like, the emotions ko dati, And I started wrote, writing it, finished it. And I'm super happy with the outcome. I love the song. It's one of my favorite songs in the album because it's the most vulnerable I have ever been on paper because I realized men shouldn't be, you know, insecure about their emotions. Toxic masculinity shouldn't be a thing. If you're really hurt, might as well use it in a way that you can and use it to your advantage. Put it onto paper, write it, yeah. That was Kylie Chari here on MTV Asks. I just want to say thank you to MTV for having me. I had so much fun. Um, thank you so much for sa lahat ng mga hindi pa alam kung saan yung pumakuha ang album ko. My album is available on all digital platforms. Um, you guys can also check out my music video for Lili Gawa Nakita, which is on YouTube. And yeah, thank you. Hope you enjoyed.